Hi everyone, this is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com. Today I've got a hands-on with the Nokia Lumia 930. I've been using it for about uh, just over a week now with an actual SIM card in. I've got a nano SIM card just especially for this device. I am very impressed with the design. It really is a nice phone. Very nice feel in the hand. I did give it to one to a friend of mine to hold and he complained that the edges were a bit sharp, which I can understand. It's not a particularly rounded device, but personally, it doesn't bother me. I can fit my thumb and fourth finger around it. I can fairly easily reach all the corners. I can reach the Windows buttons on the bottom. So yeah, for me, a five-inch uh, five-inch screen is about right. I am more used to the four-point-five-inch display found on the 920 but yeah no problem with the 930 it's 16 by 9 as opposed to 15 by 9 as on the 920 uh, it, it can make the screen look a little bit long but I suppose it's what you're used to on the whole it works very quickly It hand, seems to handle all the apps extremely fast, uh, loading up maps normally. I mean, if you remember trying to load maps up on, say, Nokia N8 or on the N9, for example, it took absolutely ages. This thing does it in a does it unbelievably fast. Uh, we will load a website. Let's see. Just to show you how quickly it loads web pages. This is nokiainnovation.com, our site. And that was it. Quick as you like. It is, of course, the mobile site. Being done. It's super fast loading time. We'll change its desktop. We'll try. Yahoo Sports, which is done. Unbe unbelievably fast, if you ask me. Uh, it is powered by a Snapdragon 800 quad core, 2.2 gigahertz CPU, and it seems to work really well. The display is 1080 by 1920. It does use a Pentile technology rather than RGB, meaning that rather than the pixels being up, made up of a red, a green, and a blue uh, subpixel, it they're made up of red, green, blue, green. Pixels kind of share subpixels on a Pentile display, meaning it's not quite as good a display. It is apparently more power efficient and does have longer life than RGB. But doesn't quite look as good. That said, when you've got 1080p on a 5 inch display, you really don't notice it. Personally, I don't see a huge amount of difference between the PPI on this device, which is 441, and the 331 on the 920. Perhaps uh, my eyes, they have aged a little bit. I am 34 years old, so probably not got as great an eyesight as I once had. But to me, there's not a huge amount of difference. The Lumia 930 features a 20 megapixel camera with Carl Zeiss optics. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that just there. It uh, does read pure view Zeiss 20 megapixel. Can we zoom in on that? Probably not. I was talking to someone actually, and when I told them that the lens was made by Carl Zeiss. They were incredibly impressed. Said, said, you know, Carl Zeiss is the best optics you can get, or certainly one of the best. And if you to have Zeiss on a camera, is generally what you get on the top end cameras. Obviously, this is a phone, not a camera, but I think it says it all. Of course, 20 megapixels. Does take pictures nice and quickly. You 
compared to the 10.20, there was a quite a long shot to shot time. So using the shutter button, shot shot times are considerably quicker than on the 10, Lumia 1020, but then it does have a smaller sensor to power and it also has a faster processor. Playing games. It does handle them very well. Here's Tempo Run 2, normally takes a good few minutes, a good 20 to 30 seconds to load up. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. There we go. It does look really good on this display. As you'll see, I've not actually played Temple Run because it'll take me through the yeah, through the tutorial. Yeah, so very good, very quick. The Lumia 930 does come with the consumer release of Windows Phone 8.1, uh, OS version 8.10.12397.895. We'll go to Extras and Info, Lumia Scion, more info, it gives you a few extras there. You can find out more about the Lumia sign update on the Nokia webpage. One thing sadly lacking from the Lumia 930 is, as I'm sure you've heard in every review ever on this device, is glance screen. There is no notifications whilst the device is shut off. It does still have double tap to wake. It does take a bit of getting used to when you're used to the 920 or any other Lumia device with glance screen, just sliding out your pocket and glancing at it without unlocking it to check the time and to check any missed calls or emails. So to see a blank screen every time is a bit disappointing. But I think I can get I could get used to it. Uh, the Lumia 930's version of Windows Phone 8.1 features a new version of Creative Studio. If we go to edit. Nokia Creative Studio. You no longer have the different colored filters to scroll up and down between. You now have to get into this one, filters. And as you can see, selecting down the bottom changes the color of your picture. Whereas before it was kind of your starting point. Unfortunately, one feature missing, if we go to Colourpop, Colourpop coming soon. It's not actually on this version, which is sad. Blur background is still there, which we'll try. Uh... What does that one do? Add to subject, add blur. Does that do anything? Yeah. Do you want to save changes to this picture? No. Uh, I don't think on this new version it's quite as easy to kind of try out edit the edit and then take it back again if you want to remove for example if you want to remove your changes um, or enhance the picture it does have an auto enhance feature but that's not as it doesn't seem to enhance it as good as the standard enhance rotate crop editing feature on windows phone anyway we'll we'll change the vibrance we'll change the shadows and we'll change the brightness now to remove all that 
you, if you say, do you want to save these changes? No, it takes you right back to the beginning again. So I'm not a huge fan of the new Nokia Creative Studio. Given the choice, I would put the version from 8.0 on. But I don't believe that version is a, that option is available. Maybe I just need to try it a little bit better. Uh, you do have the an updated version of Maps. Uh, some of these features were found in the developer preview. That is the two finger rotation and the two finger panning. Uh, very nice features on maps. This does actually, this update is for 8.1. Uh, being in the UK, I still do not have Cortana, so a press of the search button brings up Bing search, which is fine. I don't, I've never minded Bing search. I've always been happy to use it. But I think it would be nice to get Cortana. You do have the drag down notification menu uh, on the six inch displays. You have five of these fast setting buttons. Uh, there's only four on here. Of course, on the start screen, you have a third column by default. If you go into your settings, start and theme. There is no option to turn it off and just go down to two columns, like on smaller displays, like 4.5 inch, 920, 1020, etc. Accent color, there's I think there's still the same amount as there's always been. I don't believe I've added any new accents. But now with the ability to have a start background, I don't think that's such a biggie myself. Looking at the display, it does have a very striking orange color. Uh, it's also available in green, black and white. But I do actually really like this orange color. It does stand out. I was walking past some refuge collectors and they wear bright high-vis jackets. And I noticed this is exactly the same color as that. And I did notice they were looking at my phone. And I wondered if perhaps the bright orange being the same as what they were wearing. Uh, also, the staff for, of First Great Western, the train company in my area, also wear high-vis jackets with this orange. I have heard it being said that the colour, that this is the, net, the new in colour. Well, guys, rubbish collectors and train staff have been wearing this colour for years. The chrome band going around the Lumia 930 are aerials apparently and there's the joins here there is your usb slot on the top you've got two more joins connections and you've got your you uh you've got your nano sim port it's uh you don't have the have to access it by sticking in a pin or a paper clip or the sim remover tool you can literally just put your finger in with the aid of a precision screwdriver. You can just pluck out your SIM card there. Uh, if I had better fingernails, that would have helped, but I don't. There's another tray just in there, which we see sliding out. There we go. I'm not going to pull that out because this isn't a de-assembly video. There is your nano SIM card. Absolutely minute, even compared to micro SIM cards. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on the Lumia 930. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Always happy to hear them, or you can find me on Twitter. All links are in the description and on our site. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been Chris with the Lumia 930. Thanks for watching.